hello great youtubers welcome back finally we'll be adding level sensor to our conveyor project let's get started the last video we added our final thing which is the mode selection and then uh, overload detection to our conveyor project today we'll be adding a level sensor okay so why do we need a level sensor basically it will help us automate our system so that the system will automatically stop when the silo level is high okay so there are various type of level sensors we have the capacitive type we have the inductive type we have the switch mode type and then also the radar type in this application we'll be using the switch type so that will switch on when the hopper is full and switch back off when it's empty to start loading again okay so let's look at the wiring quickly the 24 volts power supply connected to our sensor and then we will need a neutral point that is going to be our negative supply to the level sensor which is our blue cable okay and then we'll have a return cable which is the black cable also connected to the input of the plc so we have this cable con going back to the input of the plc okay so understanding this wiring we will now move on straight to our step 7 program and implement it in our conveyor system so we have our step 7 open i'll go to file and then i'll call our project which is the application of s7 project i drop it and then go to the s7 program select uh, blocks and then i'll change to this uh, mode and then now select the rfc where we are writing our program okay so we have our program here so we will now implement and we can know that uh, we will do the implementation in our step 7 program if we look at the starting sequence of our conveyors the idea is that whenever the hopper is full we need to be able to stop the conveyors so that we don't overfill the hopper so when we stop the last conveyor that is feeding the hopper based on our, on our sequential start the following conveyors will also follow suit and then stop in that order okay so if we have a look at our flow drawing we can see that belt conveyor one Belt conveyor 3 starts first, followed by belt conveyor 2 and then belt conveyor 1. So our final point into the silo is belt conveyor 3. So when this level sensor is activated, we stop belt conveyor 3 and then automatically the rest of the belt will stop. Okay, so we'll go back to our step 7 program. So we'll not do much. This one will introduce our level sensor. And if we look onto our conveyor system we can introduce the level sensor right on this particular part so i'll insert a new input and this is going to be our level sensor signal but first let's confirm and find out the input that is available that we can make use of so if i go to options reference display okay so the reference is open now so i select the assignment input output reference button and i click ok okay so we can see that we've made use of uh, input byte 0 and the input byte 1 so we can almost full byte 1.7 is available and from there we can move to the next which will be our input byte 2 so with this information i go back and then i select i 1.7 okay so 1.7 is available so we can give it a symbolic name and this is our silo level so let's go let's level sensor silo sensor click on ok all right so the level sensor is introduced into our logic right now so that whenever the level sensor goes down or our conveyor system will follow stop okay all right so i click on save and then because we want to simulate we need to turn on our simulator so i'll go to the semantic manager and turn on the simulator
okay so we have our simulator turned on because i just started the simulator i need to download all the program so i will close this back window and then go to the station click yeah I click on download say yes yes so go ahead okay it's downloaded so i'll go back to my program and then open the simulator okay so i put the simulator into run mode wait for it to start okay simulator started i can now go online and then put on the google simulator is running okay so we start our simulator but first we need to get all our conditions right okay so we can see that our stop push button is normally closed so we need to close it which is 0 0.1 our we've just added our level sensor which is also normally closed to be normally closed on field so i take it on our overload which is 1.0 is also normally closed so i take it on emergency switch will also be okay which is normally closed which is 0 0.2 so i take that one on as well 0 0.3 pull rope will be also normally closed so, so all my conditions are met it's left with the start command to then come on okay i have to move down to this section of the program and look at the other conveyors so conveyor one is having an, uh, an overload sensor also connected so i need to also prepare that which is one dot dot two which is also normally close so one dot two one and then i move to the last conveyor I move to conveyor 2 it's also having an overload which is 1.1 so i take that one also on as well so basically if we look through we have our, our conditions fulfilled so we can now do a test start and then observe what happened okay so i press on the start push button which is 0.0, .0. so i take and untick again start counting down stop again because I need to also look at my speed monitoring system which is 0 0.6 so I'll start again and this time I'll take the 0 0.6 which is on I need to also check on my feedback also which is 0 0.4 so I'll start again and this time I also have to take 0 0.4 which is my feedback okay so with all those conditions met our system is now running let's check the other conveyors okay conveyor 2 is on we check conveyor 3 conveyor 3 sorry conveyor 1 also on so we have conveyor 3 on conveyor 2 on and then conveyor 1 okay okay so let's say whilst we are loading the hopper or the silo is full so the level sensor which is which was on has now been activated off so let's see which is 1.7 so it goes off you can see that the conveyor 3 goes off let's check conveyor 2 conveyor 2 also goes off let's check conveyor 1 conveyor 1 is also off so basically this is how you can add a level sensor to automate your conveyor filling process so that you no longer need someone to physically look into the silo to check whether it's full or not and then you stop filling but immediately the level sensor is activated the conveyor system automatically stops and then you are safe to start the process again whenever it drops viewers thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye